What's up, YouTube? It's Mark from Kentucky, back with another video. Back with a pickup video here. Did some rookie card shopping on uh, Four Sharp Corners and picked up some other um, cards along the way um, over the last, uh, I guess, maybe two weeks. Uh, so I'm just going to show you what I, what I picked up. Got some pretty cool stuff, I think. Uh, first card I want to show you guys um, is this uh, Rocky Calavito rookie. Awesome card, 1957 tops. A uh, rookie card of a very good player, not a Hall of Famer. It's an SGC4. Super good looking card. Been looking at this card for a while, and heck, uh, you know, I paid paid basically what this thing is going for raw, and I got it, uh, you know, encapsulated and graded. And one thing I see wrong with this thing is got the little gum stain right there. But uh, super cool card. He was a very good player. He was an all star type player. Um, He's on my all-name team, Rocky Calavito. Got to love that name, along with Luis Aparicio. Just love those those two names. Uh, anyway, I got this thing off of uh, off of the bay, off of the eBay. It was uh, tax and shipping. It was forty two thirty nine, so it was thirty six bucks. Thought that was a really good deal. Been looking at these for a while, so I pulled the trigger on that one. Super cool to have that in the collection. Anytime you get a vintage rookie card from the 1950s uh, graded for that kind of money, I think a uh, good deal in my book. Uh, also picked up a 1971 Bobby Gritch rookie. This was $2.96 total with tax and shipping. Um, some people think that he's got a shot to get into the hall. Um, he's a very good player. I remember watching him in the 80s growing up. All-star player. Um, they asked me, uh, Jeff Kent deserves to be in before him, but, uh, what do I know? Um, also picked up, uh, super psyched to have this card is Jose Ramirez tops Chrome rookie. This one ran me about, about $8 with tax and shipping. Um, super cool card to have heck of a ball player puts up big numbers every year, hundred RBIs, 30 home runs. Hits uh, close to 300. Very, very good player. Like uh, I like him a lot. Uh, also picked up for some reason. I don't know why I did this. I guess I, I don't know if I'm a hoarder or, am I co or a collector, but I got one, two, three, four, five, six Juan Soto rookies. 2018 Tops Update. So, uh... Six car, six soda rookies for fifty bucks, plus tax and shipping. So I got like fifty-eight bucks in these six cards. I don't know why I bought so many. I've got three already. I've got one graded in nine. Um, he's going to the Yankees this year, so I don't know. Uh, what do you guys think? Am I a hoarder or am I a collector, or do I collect like a dealer? I don't. I don't know. I don't even really sell that many cards at all, really anymore my little card show at the flea market shut down so um last but not least i want to show you guys my uh four sharp corners order so i was uh it's been a while since i've been on their website I used to get on there all the time on the book but i was on there and saw some pretty cool cards they were running their 15 percent off sale so I said, uh, what the heck? So, uh, one, two, three. I got four cards. Um, the first three I'm going to show you, are, surprisingly, are not baseball cards. So uh, these ran me uh, 125 bucks with tax and shipping. Um, all of them were re relatively cheap for what they are. Um, I think I got a good deal on these suckers. Um so yeah, let me take these down and show you what I picked up. Uh, so I got a uh, Bo Jackson rookie, 1988 tops, and a near mint seven. Uh, love Bo Jackson. You know I've got a bunch of his baseball rookies graded. Um, I've got a Bo Jackson album that I put together when I was a kid that I still have today. Um, that Bo Jackson ran me sixteen dollars and uh, fourteen cents. So, cool to have that in the collection. Also picked up uh, Mr. Shaquille O'Neal rookie card. 19, 
92 tops. So, like, that's these are my first non sports graded cards. Um, or not non sports, but non baseball graded cards. So, super cool to have the uh, Shaq and the Bo Jackson rookie cards. And then, uh, what did their Shaq read me? The Shaq read me $12.74. Also, picked up this a uh, super cool Peyton Manning tops rookie and a PSA 8. I was surprised at the price on this one. I thought uh, this card would be more expensive. I know an eight's not an ex extremely high grade, but um, this one only $31.44. Super cool to have this card. I enjoyed watching Peyton Manning, his career. Heck of a quarterback. Um, you know, I remember, I remember watching him in college at the University of Tennessee. And then the last card I picked up was a baseball card I've been wanting to get for a while. Um, picked up this uh, Alan Trammell rookie. I call it an Alan Trammell rookie, but Paul Mulder is on there also. So it's a super cool card. Two Hall of Famers. Uh, 1978. I got this in a 7. Um, that's why I like to do them. You know, like in, if it's a 70s rookie card, I like to have them in at least a 7. If it's an 80s rookie card, I'd like to have them at least an 8. Um, but this is a super cool card. I've got it raw. But I've uh, been looking for a 7 for a while. Um, this one ran $58.49, um, which I thought was a fair deal. Um, a really good deal they had. They had this in a 6 for $29. I think it was either $26 or $29. I think it was $26. Bucks. And I put it in my cart. And I uh, went to go check out, and it was already sold. It wasn't available. So I ended up spending some extra money and got a 7, which I'm fine with. Like I said, I like having 7s uh, and then for 1970s cards. But um, that's all I got this time, guys. Um, please uh, write some comments down below what your favorite card was that I picked up. Uh, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel and like my content, please give me a sub and keep on collecting. Thanks for watching.